try to ferret out unwanted behavior through the interview process. Interview questions are developed. Personality tests are administered in, a, in our attempt to hire the best fit. For instance, in my managers, in an attempt to find those employees who might be a potential tardiness issue, they ask the question, how many times in a year is it okay to be late? <coughs> mm, three. Yes, three. Perhaps we're attempting to weed out a potential behavior issue. We might ask the question, do you have any weaknesses or some variation thereof? Mm. No, no, I don't have any weaknesses. <laughs> and then there are the terminally tardy. <laughs> Wait, I just missed everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, back up. I've used interns and temp hires in an attempt to uh, find those employees who might not be a problem. It's worked well for me. It gives me a chance to get to know the employee before they can become one of those HR headaches. I remember one temp to hire. She'd been in the department for a little while and was actually doing a very good job. So we approached her <coughs> about joining the department on a permanent basis. Shortly thereafter, she showed up in my office for a hat gloves and a scarf, complaining about the temperature. Apparently, it was just a little too cold for her in the office. I can tolerate a lot, but complaining and whining, not on my list. She found a, a <coughs> position elsewhere. Now, once we've gone through that interview process, occasionally, as as hard as we try to get the best fit, we make mistakes. Sometimes employees have lapse in judgment. Shannon, about that joke you emailed to the director of IT, she took offense. Well, she was having a bad day. I was just trying to lighten up the day for her. Besides, Mary Sue emailed me that joke. Mm. Unfortunately, despite your best intentions, you're a man, she's a woman, she took offense, and here we are. Sometimes employees don't play well together. <laughs> Mary Sue, Billy Joe claims that you called her a bitch. I didn't call her a bitch. I called her an itch. 
change your start time. Will that work for you? <coughs> what a ridiculous reason to fire or terminate an employee. <coughs> I had an employee recently <coughs> tell me that the California Labor Code states you can't fire an employee for being late. Really? <laughs> we had a little educational moment about the set those <laughs> policies. <laughs> Usually, Counseling works. It resolves the issues, but not always. There are two options for termination. It can be the employee's decision, or it can be mine. There was a period of time when I was at HCLS, and you did not want to get a call from me at 4.55 in the afternoon. Mary Sue, can you come to my office for a moment? It appears you were forging signatures on legal documents. Well, I couldn't get a hold of a client. <coughs> I had deadlines. Please don't fire me. <coughs> Did we talk about a lapse in judgment? <coughs> that employee who tried to educate me on the labor code, <laughs> we parted ways recently. He wanted a raise. Why? He deserved one. And it's standard practice to give raises after three months. Really? <laughs> well, bottom line, he didn't get that raise. So he tendered his resignation. This is his resignation. <laughs> <laughs> So I asked for a new and improved version, including the reason. On the bright side, it's on a full piece of paper. I've learned a lot in, year, in uh, managing employees over the years, and I've learned a lot about myself. Sometimes it's best to take a step back. Don't react emotionally. 24 hours can make a huge difference. I'm always amazed at the HR-related situations that occur in the workplace. And I've come to the conclusion it's human nature. And from that perspective, we're unpredictable. 